Today on Exploring Through Our Lens, Patty and I have been invited to a road rally here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this isn't just any road rally. This is a road rally that is going to be done in completely in Model T's. So we're getting ready to go on this road rally and I just wanted to show you before we got going some of these beautiful, beautiful Model T's. Look at the wood spokes and the beautiful, you know, look at it. They've all been restored. Come on, let's walk down the aisle. Okay. Let's go for this one. And here's one on its way out. The beautiful red paint. We are getting ready to get in the car and go be part of this rally. Now part of driving in a mile of tea is wearing a hat and if you know me I don't usually wear hats but today is going to be a special day so I'm wearing the hat I think I have it wait I have to fix it <laughs> let's get it right and then it's just we were told that people wear hats because it's just cute for me being in a vehicle like this it's going to keep my hair from flying all over the place now our friends from New Mexico Neil and Marianne. Neil is a putter and he just keeps working on stuff. This is the vehicle that we're going to be in today. And it is, look at this, it's got the hand crank on the front to get it going. And beautiful, beautiful wood wheels. And Patty, come around over here. I just want you to look inside. Because Neil has done some things that are just a little more amazing than normal. And if you would look right inside there, and we'll get a real close up of it, but he actually has USB phone connectors into his Model T. Answer me these questions three. Air the instruction sheet, you see. What is your name? Patty. What is your quest? Lunch. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Green. There's a whole chart of questions. There's directions. And the driver and the co-pilot have separate directions that they have to follow. And we have ours that we have to follow. This is crazy. There's like 60 different things. And we have an envelope. So if you get lost, there's a sealed envelope that you open to figure out how to get back to where you're supposed to be. We'll see how this goes. When you're on a Model T road rally, things can go wrong. And we were driving down the road and noticed that it wasn't sounding and smelling and feeling right. So we pulled over and found that the starter, uh, the starter Bendix had come off and the screws had come off. So what's really great about a rally like this is we got stuck, but guess what? Everybody stopped and helped. We got the thing ready to go, and we are going to be on the road in just seconds. We are at the lunch break of this road rally, and it has been absolutely incredible. We had a couple little issues with our car, but they're all still going. And I just wanted to show you the detail of some of these cars. It's really just magnificent. The starter cranks are here, but look at that Ford logo. Now, one of the best clues on this road rally that we had was, what was the name of the inferior car that was on the arch and that was the Chevy is was on the arch that we passed so all these people are obviously Ford people so we just stopped for lunch we have been driving in this Model T car for about three hours and the idea is that there's all these different clues and you've got to write the answers down and figure out how to get around the city of Albuquerque. And it's been a really, really cool time. I'll tell you what, this is, this is in that top 10 list of things to do. You know, the, everybody has a bucket list. Well, I'll tell you what, in the last two months, I have hit like three or four of my personal bucket list item things, and this has always been on my bucket list. So it's just 
something that if, if you don't experience something like this, you have no idea what it's like. It's something if you get this opportunity in a lifetime, you should do it. And definitely the opportunity came up. We were driving. We weren't supposed to get to Albuquerque until 5 o'clock tonight. Tonight, yeah. And we actually drove further, stayed over the, I can't even say stayed overnight. <laughs> we got up at 4.45 in the morning to get here. Got here, quick turnaround and out the door. How about a quick plug for Cracker Barrel for letting us stay in the parking lot stay of their the restaurant? Barrel, and what, yes. where were we? we Gallup? Were in Gallup, New Mexico, just over the border. And we have to thank Marianne and Neil for inviting us and taking us on this ride. It has been so much fun. And you know, I, I learned all about the model team. I mean, we had a little problem here, a little problem, a little oil leak, a little exhaust leak, but you know, it's kind of a simplistic car because we were able to fix it right up and just keep yep. on going. It's so it's kind of like owning an RV. <laughs> it just wrecked just like owning an RV. Just over, fix it, move on. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon with great friends, I'm Dan Hunt with my incredible wife, Patty Hunt, saying have a great rest of today. And an even better day tomorrow.